In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a new media profile and how to store that in the media profiles library so then you can select it whenever you actually need it given the print job you've got. Now to do that we load up the RIP Manager by clicking on this drop down and coming down to RIP Manager like this. That loads up our RIP Manager as you can see. And if you come over to Printer Settings here, uh, as long as you've got the correct printer selected here, you come and click on Media Library here as so and your media profile library will load up as you can see here. Now, if you want to create a new media profile in this drop down list here, what you can do is click on New Media. But before I go on with this lesson, be sure to watch the, the previous lesson that explains to you what this whole module does and what it's all about. Because it is important to understand why we've got this module and why it's uh, so important to understand how it works. So I encourage you to watch that lesson if you haven't already. Of course you can click on Copy here to copy an existing profile but by default it just copies whatever profile you've got selected. So in this case we've got generic here. I'll just click New Media here and I'm going to type in the name. Now this is some Roland uh, photo base paper I've got that I want to uh, create a, um, a new profile for. So I've got my ICC profile for this. I click OK. So I've now given it a name. Now the type of uh, paper this is, this is actually a semi-gloss paper. So that's what we set it to and uh, we can give the media a name, uh, this, this, the actual name here, so we can just call it like for example semi-gloss photo paper so that we can remind ourselves what this is actually all about because over time you end up with uh, dozens of these things. Now the print mode, I'm going to run this at uh, normal at 720 by 720. My media width uh, that I'm buying this in is in 53 inches wide or about 1.3 meters. Um, I can check these options here if I do want to come in and change these things but at this stage I'm just creating the profile so I won't actually come in and, and uh, fiddle with these just yet. So I've set those. Now I need to uh, actually bring in or, in or load up an ICC profile based on this media I've got. So I come here to load ICC and I click on that button here and you can see that I've actually come to the right spot in the first place. If I go down to here, actually to go up a directory, so these are our uh, eco solvent um, profiles here for our Rollins. So we log in here uh, we're using the standard set here which is the 720. Okay, we click open. That loads our profile here as you can see which I've got from the uh, Roland website. I can set my render intent. If you want to understand about render intents, uh, click on the help button uh, here. Go into the manual and have a read about render intents. Uh, we do provide quite a bit of information about how this works. Uh, there's also a wealth of information online that you can get but render intents are fairly easy to, uh, to understand once you read through those. So essentially that's all I need to do. I've, I've set all my settings that I want to use for this particular uh, photo based paper here and as I say I can come in here and I can adjust things like ink channels but what I'd normally do is I'd create the profile, print out a test ramp, okay, a preview of uh, how the profile is going to print and then I can come in and adjust these things to suit, print out another test ramp and get it exactly the way I want to get it. I can also see the profile I've selected, I can see its gamut view here, it's actually not a bad profile here. It's quite a neat profile. Look at the tone reproduction curves here. They're quite smooth. Uh, it's showing me how it creates black here and that tends to be working pretty well. I can see my gamut versus my RGB gamut here as you can see. So in here is the, around here is the gamut of my actual printer uh, based on this profile. So this is the colour range it can print and this is the full colour gamut of my printer. As you can see printers have, uh, sorry not my printer, my monitor monitors have a much larger colour gamut than a uh, printer does uh, but that's just a fact of life. So I've set all those parameters there, I'm quite happy with that now. Yes, looking through this, yes everything's OK. So I click Update which now saves this to the library. So it's now saved in here and I click OK to select it and you can see back here in the printer settings in the RIP Manager I've got my photo based paper uh, media profile selected. It's set all the uh, parameters I've wanted to use here as I say you can press test ramp here to print out a uh, test ramp of this particular profile, make sure that the ICC profile I've selected is working with the current media and ink set I've got uh, and I can come back into the media profile library here and I can adjust these sorts of things if I need to. And that's exactly how you create a, a media profile from scratch and that's the end of this lesson.